Sagittarius, let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. If you want this exact spread as well, like as a personal reading, check out the description box. I will have my website linked below. And on that same website, you can get the December 2023 forecast as well as the 2024 year ahead forecast. So if you're interested, check below. And let's lay the cards out here. The overall energy for the week, we have the full card. The hidden influence is the hangman. Energy around love, we have the Six of Pentacles. Career, we have the King of Wands. Possible challenge is the Ace of Wands. And the advice card is the Star card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups representing last week's energy. And then we're going to pull an Angel message card as well as a spiritual advice card. And we're going to look at these towards the end. So going into last week's energy first, we have the Seven of Cups. So there may have been a lot of mixed emotions and feelings that you were experiencing in the previous week. And it may have been due to there being a lot of moving parts in your life and you not being sure how to necessarily navigate it. You also may have been in this space too where you were starting to see opportunity where maybe you, you weren't able to see it before because you were blinded by either your current circumstance or allowing yourself to feed into like this illusion of you not having opportunity around you. So th there may have been things that you found yourself interested in pursuing. I'm seeing mainly like career-wise. And there may have been, like I said, this deep confusion in terms of like what your calling may be or what you feel connected to in terms of a career path and what could be possible, what could be possible for you to succeed in. Just exploring your options. Same thing in terms of love as well. You may have been in a space to where maybe you're dating and you're not really sure who to take serious because it's, it's this question of how do any of these people feel about me? Or do they truly align with who I am as a person? So a lot of questions, huge focus on exploring your options. Hmm. And like essentially starting to see beyond the veil or some sort of illusion you could have been up under. Now, this week's energy with the full card, this does mark a fresh start for you. Uh, a new beginning in terms of you stepping into like this courageous energy, this willingness to go out of your comfort zone. And in you doing this, this could be pushing you into like a whole new space. Also, when Aries could have like a big um, part in this week, like an Aries individual. But with the full card, like I said, this does talk about a fresh start being marked for you and you starting you starting to like get into this new unapologetic I'm going to try it and see where it lands me energy. Okay? Now, when it comes to the hidden influence this week, I have the hang one or the hangman. So the hidden influence is that you guys have been stagnant for some time now or just feeling stuck, energetically stuck, that now you're shifting out of this perspective and now this is giving you a chance to break free or to have a, a breakthrough with the full card. Because with the hang one, yeah, you may have been seeing things from a limited perspective and it was making you lose out on opportunities or make you feel like you are just kind of stuck in some sort of vibration or, or scenario or situation. So now, since you're seeing things differently, this is granting you a fresh new start. Now with love, I do have the Six of Pentacles. So this does talk about the give and take in the relationship, the effort on both ends. Some of you, you may not be putting that much effort into your relationship because of things that you've been through. Or vice versa, maybe your person, that's an issue that you're having, is their effort. And that could be, you know, in terms of their emotional effort, like them showing you that they care about you. 
the financial effort, maybe you're paying majority of the bills or they feel like they're paying majority of the bills, whatever it may be. It just feels like you want more equality in your relationship or more of a balance in certain aspects. Some of you guys also may be meeting someone new in the workplace. And it could be this question of whether or not they're genuinely interested in you. You may not be trying to come on too strong. Or like I said, vice versa. They're they're scared to come on too strong. Now, career-wise, I have the King of Wands. So you could be feeling, like I said, a lot more motivated. This could be the week where you're getting business handled. Okay, you're you're mastering your energy as well if you've been having like a hard time staying like determined and, and focused and bold and like on top of your stuff this is the week where that's changing <laughs> you could be really in your element in terms of your career during this time frame now the possible challenge with the ace of wands is a little bit of irritation. You could have certain people who are pissing you off. Um, also, you could have either a lot of energy that you don't really know what to do with or needing more energy to like keep the momentum going because the Ace of Wands does talk about like a fresh new start and fresh energy and having the energy period to do something. So this could be something that's a little bit challenging is keeping this energy consistent. Also, with you being in a fresh start, there could be certain people who don't really come with you in that. So this could be a challenge within itself. Now, the advice with the star card, it's important that you're remaining hopeful, irregardless of whatever challenges and, and trials and tribulations you've been going through and staying focused on the bigger goal. Also with the star card, this is putting faith in your spiritual team in those moments where you feel like you can't put faith or confidence in yourself. You don't have to be extremely confident in yourself if you don't have it, but you can be confident in your spiritual team. And that's at least who you should be confident in, if not yourself. Now, going into the message from your angels, we have acceptance. So see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you'll inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. So yeah, this is being in acceptance of who you are and your uniqueness and also other people as well. Making sure that you're not being judgmental of yourself, allowing other people to judge you and also making sure you're not being that way yourself. This is also accepting things that have happened already and just making peace because acceptance is the true key to peace because what makes you unsettled is the need to force or push back against the universe and the the advice your spiritual advice we have the wizard of awareness so with the wizard of awareness is this talk about you knowing what's best for you and needing to take the wisdom that you've gained from your experiences and apply it to your situation because you could have the wisdom already that you need to navigate your situation. This is also a card of being still and observing. So maybe you've been in an observant position for a while now and it's time for you to apply what you've learned while observing either your habits, your life and its patterns, Okay, this is also a reminder that thing, everything is all good. So there's no need for you to worry. You know how to, like I said, approach your situation and how to navigate it. So this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight. If you enjoyed, thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.